Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is feeling about you, what would they say to you, where is this headed, and more. The first card we have here is the Four of Swords, which implies that there is some sort of separation. Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while, um, or you haven't really talked the way that you want them to. I am seeing that you really, really, really want to hear from them, but there's not budging things just are not happening but i'm seeing that during this time period like they're taking this time to improve themselves and be better okay but let's go ahead and gain some more clarification yeah we got the knight of cups and you know because they're doing that they're gonna come forward wow okay oh my gosh like i'm not even gonna lie i was not expecting that um four of swords is like separation but good things are happening there's certain cards that imply separation but maybe they're not like changing and healing that much like if this was maybe clarified by like the devil or something that would mean like yeah they have a lot to get out of their system but this was clarified by the knight of cups so this is really possible oh my gosh this is really positive um yeah and i'm seeing that this person is thinking about making a love offer knights are about making offers and i do feel like your person really 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 likes you they are really into you don't take the silence as like they don't care um they've been thinking about you the entire time in fact i literally just got done coaching with a client um or sorry i got a story from a client who had who i had coached a couple months ago who literally told me that um her sp was thinking about her the entire time they were in separation so thought transmission is real if you're manifesting someone to miss you they will miss you okay if you're manifesting someone to think about you, they will do that. Check out my Law of Assumption playlist for those stories. And I also offer um, manifestation coaching. But yeah, like that, that is really coming up in this reading. I'm seeing that they're thinking about you. I'm seeing that they're thinking about making an offer too. And I feel like a lot of you, you're just like giving into the 3D. Oh, they, they haven't, you know, been reaching out to me. They haven't been giving me any semblance that they think about me. Okay, Four of Swords, again, this just means that there's a lot happening behind the scenes and they're actually in meditative and contemplative mode, which they really needed because I really do feel like they needed to work on themselves. And that's what they're in the process of doing, which is really positive. Yeah, so we got the hanged man, okay? I'm seeing, like I said, you know, they are working on themselves, but it's paying off because look, his crown chakra is shining and this is something that they need to get out of by themselves this hangman i always see this as like okay you know what like i got myself into the situation i need to get myself out so you know any sort of i feel like this person definitely had self-sabotaging tendencies but they are getting out of it they are trying to become better they are trying to improve okay so that's a really positive sign here um and i'm seeing that you know we're getting a lot of water energy i'm seeing you could be dealing with cancer pisces scorpio placements sun moon rising venus also some gemini placements i'm seeing here that you know, with this Knight of Cups, like, and this Hangman just together, I'm seeing that, you know, they want to come forward with a solid love offer. They don't want to come forward in a way where, you know, they aren't going to be able to offer much because then they're just going to be like, you know, they, they don't want you to think that they're like a loser. I feel like this person has tried really, really hard to, you know, set boundaries with you just because they want you to perceive them as someone who has it together. They don't want to come off to be a simp, even though they are simps deep down. And when I say simp, I just mean someone who's really emotional and someone who falls for someone hard. And I am seeing they fell for you hard. They really, really did, okay? Anytime, like, any Pisces cards come up, I just, I just know, you know, they're a softie and they have real feelings and they're capable of tapping into that. And I feel like they did that for you. They really did. But again, they are just protecting their hearts. They are just protecting their own emotions because I really feel like, you know, once this person gives into their emotions too much, that can cause them to self-destruct. And I did channel some self-sabotaging tendencies here. So that is another message that I'm getting. Let's go ahead and pick some more cards here. Wow, so much watery energy. I love this. The progression from Knight of Cups to King of Cups. Okay, so this King of Cups is someone who knows how to be in a relationship, someone who knows how to be loyal, someone who knows how to invest, someone who has gotten over any sort of quote unquote issues that were stopping him from coming forward, any sort of commitment issues, any anything that, you know, is stopping them from being the most vulnerable, best version of themselves. And I really, really do feel like, you know, this person is coming forward and they're they're gonna offer you something real, something stable, okay? They really, really do care about you. And they want the best. Okay, they, they want you to experience the best as well. Because, like I said, this person wants you to perceive them as someone who has it together. Someone who can really provide for you, okay? Someone who can be there emotionally. Because I feel like in the past, they could have been with someone who didn't do that. 
and you know I feel like maybe you know if you're worried about an ex or something you don't need to be because I feel like they have like a negative um impression of them because like you know their ex was kind of like not the best and they're just like wow I don't want to be like my ex to anyone else like you know how sometimes when people hurt you you're just like I don't want to hurt anyone else the same way I don't want to put anyone else through that and I really feel like your person is growing improving and healing so much and they really really do want the best for you and best for this connection so yeah I feel like right now you know this person is thinking about chasing you thinking about coming forward they're the ones like you know that are going to be pursuing you now I feel like you know you've done the work you're doing the work like the inner work the self-love work manifestation and like I really 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 can confirm that they're getting those messages that you know thought transmission is real and I feel like you know they've been thinking more and more deeply about you and this relationship and what it means and they really do want to commit to you okay oh my gosh we just got all these cards that came out at once okay let's go ahead and pick this <gasps> the sun wow okay I literally picked this from like the middle of the deck okay the sun yes there is a better and brighter future ahead for the both of you they want more out of this connection they want they want more with you okay they're like literally like fantasizing about a future with you and like this rose i always like to see that as a symbol of love here there's a lot of love here i feel like you make them feel really safe you make their inner child feel safe and you know vice versa and they they feel like they could just be their you know fun goofy selves around you and they really loved when you were being your fun goofy self like i just feel like they have so much that you know they love about you and your sense of humor and like they think you're so like charismatic and sweet and yeah i i love you know the sun card i love like th this type of energy um, whenever, like, you know, the sun comes up, and what's that one other card that also represents this, um, oh, okay, it'll come to me, but, yeah, I I'm just seeing, like, you know, you give off warm, kind, caring energy, and your person felt really safe with you, and, you know, they want you to feel that same way as well, so, yeah, um, let's go ahead and pick one more card, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick some love or cards, yeah, we got the two of wands, so this person has been thinking about coming closer to you, if you are in some sort of distance or separation, your person has been thinking about how to approach you, how to contact you, um, I apologize, I forgot my tripods, I'm literally holding my camera, I'm in a hotel room right now in Guatemala, and yeah, I'm just feeling the spiritual energy, I literally just learned about the Mayans and Jay today, so I'm so excited to be doing this reading for you, but yeah, we got the two of wands, and this is about you know thinking and getting serious about a future they want a future with you but they also know that they have more work to do before they can you know have that stable future with you because you know this two of wands ideally they should be a three of wands and three of wands is about planning being more proactive about that two of wands is more about like okay you know what? i want a future i'm fantasizing about a future with you um yeah so that's just something else that i'm seeing they need to work on like they need to work on stability within themselves so that they can give you the stability that you so rightfully deserve but the good part is that it is happening okay there's still some more work that they need to do on their end but i feel like you know the outcome is looking really really good it's looking very positive so yeah let's go ahead and pick some more cards uh some love oracle cards to see what messages your person has for you we got our reunion is inevitable please be patient it is happening oh i love that you made me believe in true love again thank you so much yeah you really restore their faith in love and relationships and for that you know they have so much to thank you for and i feel like they literally cannot imagine being with anyone else but you like you really really changed their um life in the best way possible so you know now they're just like okay i want to be with you like i want to be with someone that made me feel something and made me feel good things you know i feel like it's been a while I, I really do feel like for a lot of you maybe this person came into this relationship with emotional baggage but you know they are working on healing that but they left like a much better person because you just have such a positive impact on everyone you meet so yeah okay i will go ahead and end the reading right here i really really hope this helps take what resonates and leave what doesn't i also offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching and i also custom make subliminal so if that's something you're interested in check out the description box below where you can sign up for that and yeah i will go ahead and end the video right here thank you so much love and light